What's up, Tech King? Stefan here from TechRite. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your application icons as well as your widgets for iOS 14 on your iPhone. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hope you're having a great day out there. Hope everyone is safe as well. But today we're going to be showing you how to customize your applications as well as your widgets. As I said before, and this is going to be a very simple tutorial. Um, as you guys see right here, I kind of made like a Toy Story theme. Um, I think I'm going to do a Disney theme next and I'll probably do a Halloween theme for the month of October as well. So if you guys want to see that video, definitely put that in the comment section down below. But this is going to be a very simple tutorial on just how to customize your application icons. Now we're going to need only three things and this is going to be a very simple tutorial. So we're going to need the photos application, number one. One. Next, we're going to need an application called Shortcuts. You guys can download an app store if it's not already preloaded on your iOS device. And the last thing is we're actually going to need a web browser. So anything from Safari to Firefox to Chrome, you guys can go ahead and use those as the browser to go ahead and find the application icons. So first and foremost, we're going to go to Safari. Then you're going to go ahead and go to any site that really has any sort of icons that you guys like. But I really like icons8.com. It makes it very easy and if you guys want to go ahead and use this site I'll definitely put it in the comment section as well as the description down below but all you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and find your app icon and as you guys see we found one Safari go ahead and choose whatever one you want go ahead and hold on the picture and save the image the next step is actually going to shortcuts so go ahead and click on shortcuts now, as you guys see, we already have shortcuts, which are taking up the home screen space right now. Uh, but to add a new one, what we're going to do is click on the top right corner where the plus is at. Then we're going to click on add action. Then we're going to go ahead and click on scripting. So we're going to go ahead and script to what basically what this application performs. So it's going to be open app. Click on that. And then we're going to click on choose right there. So we're going to choose which application we want. And the last time I checked, it was Safari. So we're going to go ahead and find Safari really quick. Go ahead and click on that. Then click on the top three dots on the right side. Then we're going to go ahead and click on add to home screen. Then we're going to go ahead and name the application depending on whatever application you're using. Go ahead and name it to go ahead and set it to the correct profile. Then we're going to go ahead and click on the logo right there. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now we have take photo, choose photo or choose file. Now whatever you want to do, choose that. You can take photos, which I think is really cool as well. But we're going to choose photo in this situation. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on the Safari little application that we have. Um, you can actually customize it uh, to zoom in or zoom out. We're, we're just going to use the preloaded one we have here. Click choose and we're going to go ahead and click add. After that, click done and it is a new shortcut as you guys can see and it pops up right there. So very, very simple to go ahead and customize your app icon. It is a very, very easy thing to do. I would say the only downside to using custom app icons is it briefly goes into shortcuts as you guys see right there before it loads up the application. But really other than that, for you to have the creative freedom to pretty much put whatever you want on your home screen now, I really don't see any downside. Now the next thing we're gonna show you is how to customize widgets now as you guys know with iOS 14 we now have widgets we can put on the home screen so I was very excited about that but the next thing you want to go and do is download an application called widget smith as you guys see I have it here already now this is going to basically show you how to go ahead and customize your widgets so we're gonna go ahead and click on widget smith application right now go straight into the application and as you guys see we have a bunch of different widgets you can add a small widget you can add a large widget or you can add a medium widget as you guys see here. Um, but to actually go ahead and customize this, we're going to go ahead and use the large one as you guys see right here. So click add large and we're going to go ahead and click on this. So click on number two or number one, whatever one you have. Um, we're going to click on default and we're going to choose what we want. So there's other things. We have time. We have custom uh, photo day and date photo fuzzy time. Um, and we have some other locked ones as you guys can see but what we're going to do is click on time and locations and we're going to go ahead and click whatever location you want you guys can go ahead and edit that obviously for different ones it's a little bit different um, we have the font as well you guys can choose whatever type of font you'd like 
we're gonna go ahead and click typewriter I think that font is pretty cool then we're gonna go ahead and click on the tint color so the tint color is going to be your text color I really like this scion I think that looks really cool then we're gonna click background let's go ahead and click on the pastel yellow then we can actually pick the border color which I thought was really cool as well we're gonna go ahead and click pink because pink's cool and if you don't like it then I don't like you <laughs> I'm just kidding but we also have the time format if you guys want to change this and for different widgets there are different customization options so definitely keep that in mind so for this one we're just going to use the 24 hour time um, and we're gonna click save right there we're gonna go back and click save and to actually go ahead and add the icon on your home screen what you're going to do is hold down your applications are gonna flicker. There's a plus sign in the top left corner of your iOS device. Then you're going to scroll down and scroll down till you get to Widget Smith, as you guys see right here. We're going to click what widget we want. As you guys see, we had a large one in mind. So let's go ahead and add that. Click on done. And that's not the exact one we want. We wanted widget number two. So to actually go ahead and edit your widget, go ahead and click on edit widget. Then go click on the large one. Then go ahead and choose which one. You can actually name them, I believe, as well. So large two was the customized one that we wanted. Then back out. And we have our customized widget right here, which I think looks really good, especially on this wallpaper. I think it complements the colors that we have on here. But guys, it is that easy to go ahead and customize your app icons and widgets on your iOS device. Um, if you guys need any help, definitely put it in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to go ahead and assist you guys. But if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you are not a part of the tech gang already. Also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.